एल एम एस और लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इज योर पर्सनल वर्चुअल कैंपस स्टडी पोर्टल दैट कैन बी एक्सेस वाई एल एम एस डॉट वी कॉम सेट्स डॉट ई डी यू डॉट पी के इट सर्व एस योर मीडियम ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन विथ योर कोर्स ट्यूटर्स फेलो स्टूडेंट्स and works as a resource to access course contents announcements and assignments it is your private domain which lists all your modules for the course you are enrolled in giving you access to teach modules resources like your lectures assignments discussions forums etc Let's see how LMS works. Open your browser and please type l m s dot v com sets dot e d u dot p k. Home page will open in front of you. Here you will see login. LMS link on this page you will select your session program and then enter your roll number this same number is your registration number now enter your password and click on login After that you will get welcome message on this page you can see top menu and left menu on left menu you have seen my home my to do list and my notes now click on my to do list to view any pending course re related tasks Quizzes can be attempted online. Relevant assignments will need to be downloaded to work on and then submitted through here when completed using the submit option under assignments. And then graded discussion. After that you can see a list of my courses on left side. Here you can see course code. You can choose any of the course. Suppose you choose a course CSC four zero one dash CM. CM stands for Computer Management. On this page, you can see different tabs. The first one is Course Information. and related contents lessons video lessons quizzes assignments graded discussion moderated discussion course announcement if there is any information or notice regarding assignments quizzes gdb and announcements you will see on top right corner of this page now you will click on course info to get all information about this course you can see here course code course title information about instructors his name and his email address Now I'm going to click on overview. Under this you can see course description, course objective, learning outcomes, etc. Then I'm going to click on contents. 
here you will find lecture contents all lecture their details their main topics their sequence their numbers all these things you will find under this tab and then there are faqs mostly students are going to ask some questions about certain things and here you can find most commonly asked questions and their answers and now i am going to click on glossary if this course or this lecture has some glossary you can find under here now i'm going to click on web links all related web links can be found under this tab after that i click on books here you can find all text and reference books related to your course now i am going to click on downloads under this tab you can download any material related to your subject under grading tab you can see mark scheme for your assignments quizzes graded discussion midterm and finals how much proportion is given to each one you can easily find here now i'm going to click on lessons on this page you will find all the lectures of your course here you can see lesson number date and video now i click on lecture detail tab here you can see details of your lectures in text form and video by using play you can see lectures video while by using download you can download lectures in text form in the next step video lessons you can see and download all videos of your lesson now i'm going to click on quiz details here you can see two tabs new quizzes and quiz history in new quizzes you can see forthcoming quizzes while in quiz history you will find the title of your quizzes their starting and end date did you attempt on how much score you have got and total marks through this tab you can see all the history and status of your quizzes now i click on assignments here you can see two tabs new assignments and assignment history in the same manner which we have seen under quizzes if you click on new assignments you can see title of the assignment its due date its total marks on which file you are supposed to submit even you can download your previous assignments and then you can submit your new assignment if you click on assignment history all previous record and information regarding your previous assignment will be in front of you now i am going to click on graded discussion very important for this graded discussion teacher will compose a question and every student has to answer it you will have limited time and these question will be graded or they will have marks next step is moderated discussion in moderated discussion 
teacher will open a discussion or invite students to ask questions which he will reply again you will have limited time but these questions and answers will not be graded or you will not secure any marks for this session you can use this session to clarify any doubts about your lecture or to enhance your knowledge and the next step is course announcement any new announcements can be found here on the top menu you can see home grade summary fee summary personal notes lecture schedule notice board services email and my account if you click on home you will have a list of all of your registered courses the next step is grade summary here you will have a summary of all of your courses what is your course number and title how much score you have done what is your gpa what are your grades your lecture remarks and your percentage at that moment after having this picture in front of you you will have struggle for the better if you click on fee summary you will see the status of your fee how much fee you have paid what is left or other details regarding fee now i click on personal notes here you can contact with your tutor and ask question or other details about your lessons you can discuss with him now i click on lecture schedule here you will see date day and timings of your lectures you will have an idea about any lecture that you can watch that lecture on such and such time and date so all lecture schedule will be in front of you after that i am going to click on notice board all important information notices and announcements can be seen here next step is services here you can see admission withdrawal request semester freeze request semester unfreeze request study center change request if you want you can change your study center for example after giving a valid reason you can apply for this now i'm going to click on email here you will use your username and password to stay in and to use their site regularly now i'm going to click on now i'm going to click on my account which is on the right side of this page under this you can see my profile account setting login history and log out in my profile you can see all your personal details you can change your phone number or address if required please check your details and update them when required the next one is account setting if you want you can change your password or security question next one is login history here you will have a record that how many times you have logged in at what time and on which date this website was used a complete history will be in front of you once you have completed your required tasks and assignments you can log out of your lms session by clicking 
log out under my account. We hope this video tutorial will help you fully utilize LMS and successfully complete your degree courses. We wish you a very happy start. Thank you.